All right, welcome back to the Storage Box 1 guide. We are now doing Storage Box 1 mini uh, Monster Miniatures. Uh, so this tray here is gonna be called Tray 1, and it's the top tray that you should receive. And then this is the bottom tray here, calling Tray 2. Um, and just as a note, I mean, I'm doing this to kind of just uh, fill it in, but the pictures are here on the box. There's nothing special about this. So really you just need to fin uh, follow the pictures here on the box and you should be able to have everything uh, you know that you need there to do it. So tray one here looks like this. And basically what this is, is a mix of um, Arena the Contest, uh, which I have here, um, the Penumbral Pack, the Legendary Box, and then way over here we have the uh, tray two, of the uh, Tenaris Adventures box, and there's even actually some more uh, Penumbra pack over there. So really we're just following the picture, um, and we're gonna fill this in here as we're uh, going. So um, we're gonna start up here off the uh, top left corner. That is two alternating um, uh, Halfling Riders is what they're called. Um, and so they just kind of fit in there and then look uh, at uh, uh, alternating basically like, well, actually, I guess they're looking at the same. Um, no, they are alternating. So can just place them in like that. Um, next up here looks like um, the, well, let's do this section here, I guess. So we have a lot of the uh, ghouls here. Um, these ghouls, I believe, come in the legendary box right here. Um, so all of these guys will face to the left. Basically, they should all just kind of go in there. Um, all of these guys, specifically, everything that's used in the legendary box is part of that wasteland expedition. Um, so if you... Um, aren't aware that's exactly what it is. All right, there's two more spots here. Um, and these guys are part of the penumbral pack. Um, it's the bottom tray. Looks like these guys here. Um, and they just face over here to the left like that. Boom, boom. All right, next uh, up here is actually quite a few villain type of char uh, characters. So we have, uh, starting off here on the left, is the Shield Golem, who is currently in the Penumbral Pack. So just kind of fish him out of there, put him in this spot here. Next up is the Warlord. This comes from Are whoops, Arena the Contest box. He goes right here. Next is the Ebatin, which is in the Penumbral uh, Pack right there. Next up is the Skeletal Lord, who is also in the Penumbral Pack. And there, these are all, um, he, just so you know too, is a lot of these uh, guys right here are all part of the Villain Pack too. Uh, the, vi the Villain Pack as well. So if you, have, uh, if you haven't like unboxed your Villain Pack um, from the last wave, then that's basically where it is. Next one up is the Kemet Berserker that is in Tray 2 of the Tenaris Adventures box. Um, next one here is, uh, I believe, I think this is like the zombie lord who's in, um, uh, who's also part of the villain pack. Um, but basically he goes right there. Um, all right. So we got that section done. Now we're going to move down here. Um, so we have quite a few of the dwarfs. Um, so don't get too confused because there's actually two versions of the dwarves um there's like the uh spectral uh the ghost dwarves and the um and the uh the regular dwarves so these ones here i believe are the uh ghost dwarves because that comes in the arena the contest campaign so basically they're in the legendary box tray. So you can put all these guys right here. All right, get that last guy in there. Boom, perfect. 
All right, next up is our snipers from Arena the Contest. Um, so the Arena the Contest, second tray there. You can put all of your beautiful snipers. My wife did a great job on these ones. Very ta talented painter. Um, and let's see, there she is, last one right there. She's painted them to the colors that they appear in Arena the Contest. All right, next up here, I believe, is the Anger Miniatures, who are in the penumbral um, pack here. And basically, they just go here. It's these guys with big claws like that. Um, and they go right there. All right, let's do this side piece here real quick. Um, I believe these ones are Fear. And I could be getting some of the penumbral character names wrong, but, you know, I'll, I'll show the miniature so you kind of know. And it is, you know, like I said, on the front here, so nothing uh, secretive. Basically, it looks like he's slightly turned um, this way because his arm is kind of like rotated. Let's see, maybe he, no, no. He needs to be rotated. Yeah, there we go. So it does look like there's a slight bend in there, but not too bad. And then this guy also will be kind of rotated to the side. So you could have a tray that may have a little bit more room. If you need to move that around, you can use like a heat gun to kind of make it a little more flexible um, as an option as well. So sometimes the miniatures uh, just are a little different. All right, next one here, I believe, is Envy. These are also part of the uh, penumbral pack full um, there, so you can kind of get these guys in here, and they are also kind of looking slightly to the right. They are pretty uh, disgusting looking guys. I did a video on all of these in the past. All right, next up is the regular dwarves. Going here to the left. And they just slide here. So these are the uh, normal dwarves. Not to be confused with the spe spectral dwarves. There's just two of those. All right, next one is the Sentinels. These are part of Arena the Contest uh, tray. So if you go back there, you can pull these out. Boom. Arena the Contest Sentinels. All right, here on the left, I believe, are these ones. And I think this could be Greed. Um, I could be wrong on the name here. Basically, it's these guys. So they should fit here on the left-hand side. And that is in the penumbral pack. All right, we're going to go down to the next level here. Uh, so we have two basilisks. Those are part of the Arena the Contest uh, box. So just pull those guys out. Next up is two uh, goblins. Those are also in the Arena of the Contest box. Same tray. They just go right there. All right, next up is three Sentinels. The Sentinels are part of the Arena of the Contest box. Um, so hopefully I'm saying all these wrong, right and not uh, misquoting them. <laughs> probably find out later from people saying like you said the wrong box sorry sorry um so yeah there is the three and they're actually all just very snug together um so that is the sentinels um next up is two constructs the constructs are also in the uh Tenaris adventures box tray two um all right going down here these are i believe the this one this one i always get very close all right these are the cultists the cultists are part of the Tenaris adventures box they look like these ones they're very, they look pretty similar to the vampires um just so hopefully you don't get those messed up they kind of rotate to the side it looks like here to get them to fit in properly all right, next up is the uh, orcs. The orcs are all part of the legendary box. Uh, so you can get all of your orcs ready to do their thing right there. Um, and that is your orcs. 
All right, now we are at the vampires. The vampires are part of the legendary box. So you can get the legendary box uh, vampires in there. Looks like I uh, get a little give on that one. There we go. No problem. All right. Now at the bottom is uh, two different sets of miniatures that are actually turned upside down. So the left hand side here is the skeletal uh, uh, skeletons, I think is what they're officially called. Sometimes I've called them the skeletal warriors, but basically they are uh, yeah, the skeletal warriors. And I did a paint thing. Why is that one colored sort of? Because I did a paint video with somebody a long time ago. And uh, I don't know if I even ever finished that. It looks like it's kind of unfinished to me, but. <laughs> uh, all right, next up is the four golems. The golems are also in the legendary box. So it's kind of a mix uh, back and forth. Now, once you, you know, get them all, then it won't, you know, really matter, right? But uh, get them in there. Um, all right. So that is it. There is one more spot here. And I believe that this is the dragon avatar who should be in the legendary box. And I think I put him in a different slot. Put him in the other, um, uh, uh, the other uh, tray of the legendary box. But boom, there he goes. All right, that is tray one of the monster miniatures box put the lid on this and we'll come back to that in a second all right so you i talked about this yesterday um you have the pull tab so you can pull this out this is tray two that we're going to start it's the picture here on the left um, so we are going let's put this over real quick so we can use that um, and then we're going to get started all right so Let's, uh, let's start with something easy here. Top right, we are gonna go with the two spiders who are actually still in the same orientation that they are in the penumbral pack. So one up, one down like that. Uh, next up, I believe is the, I think that is the Soulborn. So there is two um, male Soulborn characters, right? Well, here he is. So there's two of these. They have the book and they're holding, uh, looks like uh, some kind of sword. So we're just gonna rotate these here. Like that. Boom. Boom. All right, you can kind of push them in a little bit so you know they kind of don't move at all. The next is there is two male Tamaku characters who is uh, both of all of these, by the way, are so far in the penumbral pack. Um, so you can pull that out. They might, I'm trying to remember, I think they may have also originally come from the characters pack um, from the RPG. So if you haven't taken those out, then basically that's where they should go here. jam this one in too hard there. all right so that is um, the Tamaku characters all right next up is the curious there's two curious and then there is a pair of wings that uh, goes on top so remember in the RPG you can basically take your curious um, and once he like levels up then you can attach like these wings to him so that way he is the winged version uh, so that's uh, part of the RPG anyway they go right here and basically yeah that's pretty much about it there and then you can put the wings um, pretty much on top of them like this and that and it's just kind of like looping around the uh, the sword there so it's kind of gripping it a little bit but not not really much at all all right next up is the two um, male uh, gloom folk 
They look like these. And pretty intricate, uh, pretty intricate characters that we have here. Um, like scorpion type of people. All right, next is kind of a, a mix here. So we have uh, another soulborn. Looks like this one, which I believe this is a female soulborn. She goes here on the left. And then there is a, I believe this is the one right here for the female Curus. And you also know because she has a slot in her bag. Um, but basically she's gonna go right Yep, yep, there she goes. All right, well, about here. I might need to move this one a little bit because it looks like it's real tight. Uh, but anyway, that is that spot there and same thing I think he's supposed to yeah fit a little further in here like this um, all right so there you go all right next is uh, there is another gloom folk um, which is right here this is the female gloom folk she is fitting down in this spot here. Man, there's just a ton of crazy miniatures that we have. Um, so she's going there in that spot. Then we also have a, uh, another Tamaku. This is the female Tamaku, and she's the one with like the snake. See there? She is going right here. All of these are great miniatures to use in Tenaris RPG. All right, that is the top row. Whew. All right, let's move on to uh, the next section here, which is going to be the ogre who is at the bottom of uh, the Tenaris Adventures box. So you can pop that guy out. I have not painted mine yet, but we did put like a uh, Zenithal Prime on him, so at least you kind of, you know, have a good spot for him there. All right, boom, ready to go. All right, uh, going right here is the two Kemet Warriors. Um, those are on tray one of the Tenaris, uh, the Tenaris Adventures box. Right. You right there, boom. All right, next up is the two specters. They are from tray two of the Tenaris Adventures box. And they are look like they're pointed to the right here. Um, these are kind of big uh, ones that stick out, and it looks like there may be an, a, like, or an order. So you need to put the one in the left in first. And then the right. All right, next up is the two harpies. Those are also in the Tenaris, um, the Tenaris Adventures box tray two. All right, next up is our um, uh, Cthulhu style type of guys. They are right here. Um, next up is the uh, fiends. These kind of they kind of look like demons. Um, but uh, you can put those in there. I put the the one on the right and the left. I put the one on the right in first and then on the left. Um, next up is we have two spies. The spies come in the Tenaris Adventures Tray 1. So there's a uh, a lot of trays. I'm sure everyone's room right now is looking like mine, where it's a mess of boxes all over the place. But you know, it's a little little bit of pain to to get you know this all looking looking good here. All right, so they just snugly fit in there. 
Next up is we have, uh, actually I think these ones are technically called like the, the ghouls. Um, those, there's two of those and they should be in tray one of the Tenaris Adventures box. Um, they're basically the guys that are eating the other person. <laughs> pretty, pretty grim there. Uh, but anyway, they just kind of oh, pop in there real easy. All right, next up is the Gargoyles from the Tenaris Adventures box tray two. And they just both kind of slot in there like that. All right, so we got all this. We kind of need to work our way back up here. A lot of these are gonna be, uh, most of these actually I think are gonna be from Tenaris Adventures trays. Um, so these ones here are the elementals. They go here on this spot. It looks like maybe we need to put the one on the left here first. And then the right. Boom, okay. Um, then we have four Reapers. Those are in Tenaris Adventures uh, Tray 1. Man, I guess the nice thing is if you're a new backer, all of this is already, like you get a full one of these. It's all done for you. Oh, that'd be nice. Um, boom, there we go. Four Reapers ready to go. Next up is the Kemet Necromancers. There's two of those, Tenaris Adventures tray one. I'm just going to grab some old ones here while I'm at it. So we have Kemet uh, Necromancer going right here and right here. And right, next up is the Kemet Archer. There should be two of those. Those are both in Tenaris Adventures tray uh, one. The next one after this is Fat Zombie, um, although he's been named to just regular zombie because he was self-conscious. All right, and pretty much I just kind of slide there like that. All right, wow, that's a lot of stuff we got in here. Let's see if we can get it in. There we go, pretty close. Pretty close. I think there's a couple that maybe I need to push in a little bit more. But there you go. We got the tray. All of them ready to go. Put this back in. Put this back on the top. And that is it for storage box one, Monster Miniatures.